Hello. Isn't it irritating uh, when you go to get onions out of the store and you find that they've gone uh, soft and squishy and they've started to regrow? Well, don't throw them out because I'm going to show you things that you can do with these in your garden. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. So just like any other bulb, like these daffodils or even uh, this giant allium that's growing here, all they want to do is to grow and reproduce, set seeds, uh, divide the bulb up. They just want to keep on reproducing. So we can take advantage of that. And the first way is to plant them in your ornamental border. Onions produce really lovely flower heads. So they send up a central spike uh, with a whole load of little flowers on the top of it. They're really attractive to pollinators and they give a really nice display. Now I spent quite a lot of money on these Allium giganteum bulbs and they will put up a flower head that's really quite tall. But uh, these onions will also send up a flower spike. It won't be as tall and it's going to be creamy white rather than purple. But all you need to do uh, is make a hole and plant your bulbs and really they need almost twice as much soil uh, above the bulb as is there. I'm probably going to plant them to about this deep so I can see a little bit of the green um, but well and truly in. I will need to be very careful because the bulb is super squashy. Uh, you can see uh, it's already starting to produce roots so it's really ready to get straight into the ground and start growing properly. For a mobile display uh, you could also plant them into a pot. So I'm going to start by um, putting in a layer of uh, peat-free compost and then I'm going to add uh, the bulbs and I'm going to bed them nicely. I'm just taking off the um, excess uh, dry leaves there and bed them down. I'm going to put three into here And then I just very simply um, fill around them. And you can see uh, I'm covering some of the leaves. That's absolutely fine. And the next thing I need to do uh, is to water this and to label it. So I'm watering it until the water uh, starts coming through the holes in the bottom. And that way I can be fairly certain that the water's got right through it. And finally, uh, label it so I remember what they are. And then I'm going to store it outside the greenhouse or polytunnel. So they've got a bit of shelter from the wind, but you know, they're hardy. They will be absolutely fine. Another way to use up these onions is to uh, grow them for seeds for next year. So I'm going to plant uh, some onions uh, close to my veg garden. They're not in the veg garden, but they are really close by. Uh, so I will see them and uh, I will be reminded to collect their seed at the right time. So again, uh, I'm planting those fairly deeply um, with uh, about one and a half to two times uh, the amount of soil on top of the bulb uh, as there is in the height of the bulb. Or uh, in the case here, uh, just as deep as I can get them to go uh, in, this <laughs> in this bit of soil. Now, if you're planting the onions to collect the seeds, it's a really good idea to plant them in clumps. And they're much better if they are cross-pollinated uh, with another plant. So here we go. And in groups uh, of five or seven uh, should give you uh, a really good chance of having uh, some good cross-pollination uh, with those flowers. And then having some really good seeds to collect uh, to grow your onions from next year. If you've got way too many onions or not enough space to plant them either in uh, an ornamental border uh, or in your veg garden, uh, then you can compost them. But I would suggest that you leave them lying around, let them grow uh, as much as possible before you put them in the compost heap. I'd also suggest that you chop them up uh, before you put them in because I've put uh, onions like this into my compost heap before now and they just carry on growing. 
So uh, to get the best from them, uh, you can then just chop all that greenery up and use them in the kitchen. Add all of that to your compost heap uh, and just bear in mind that an, a very high percentage of onion in your compost heap is not great. That would be joined by Monty. Uh, are you coming up to say hello? Come on then. And the other thing worth considering is if you're putting onions in your compost heap, make sure you put a lid on it uh, and don't allow your dogs access to it because dogs uh, will eat onions and it's really not very good for them. And you can do the same thing uh, with other alliums uh, like shallots and garlic. If they have started sprouting, there's no need to throw them away. You can either grow them in pots uh, or in your garden. And exactly the same thing works with elephant garlic. About 18 months ago, uh, when we were fairly sure that we were moving, and uh, it was the autumn of uh, 2020, and it was the time to uh, put elephant garlic in the ground. So I put it into pots, and uh, most of these were just actually not a large clove, but they were the small bulbils. I put them in, they've grown on in this pot uh, for the last 18 months. And now uh, I'm going to separate them out and actually get them into the ground. So I'm not going to grow these uh, as ornamentals or grow them for their seeds. I'm actually going to plant these um, to harvest the bulbs at the right time of year. I grew quite a lot of beds uh, with mixed vegetables and ornamentals in our previous home. And I plan to do uh, exactly that again here. And if you can't imagine what that mixed planting would look like, I made a really nice tour video a couple of years ago. This border uh, is about 18 months old and in it uh, is predominantly flowers um, until you look closely. And then the one other thing that I've got in this border, which I think has worked really well, this lovely uh, globe of flowers uh, is, is an allium. It had uh, creamy white flowers with the slightest hint of mauve to them been really gorgeous so it's been uh, quite a big ball of flowers it's just going over now and uh, all of these are beginning uh, to turn to seed it's given some really good height and structure and in fact uh, there's been quite a lot of them uh, along this border and these are elephant garlic and um, I've let them go uh, to flower and they produce this uh, wonderful ornamental uh, statement flower high above uh, everything else in the border. They've been really eye-catching. I'm going to dig the bulb up, separate it into cloves uh, and plant them right across this bed uh, because I want lots more of these next year. I'll leave a link on the screen and that will take you through directly to that video.